Okay, welcome back everyone. Happy Monday. So today we're going to do a workout that will focus mainly um, on the abs and the glutes and then we're going to do a cool down. So what you'll need, all you'll need is some space on the wall and then you also need a chair because we're going to use that too with a couple of our different uh, squat variations. So space on the wall, chair, grab a water bottle if you need it. The workout's going to look like a warm-up, so we'll do that first. The next part is the actual workout itself is going to be what's called an EMOM or every minute on the minute. So that means every minute we're going to do a movement. Once that minute's up, we'll switch to the next one. We'll do that seven times and we'll cycle through that three different times. Excuse me, and then we'll do a cool down. Cool down is going to be mainly we'll do some foam rolling, we'll do some stretching, we'll get everything worked out. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So starting with the warm-up, we're just going to crank out just a couple, these are called marching bird dogs. Now we're just gonna start with the hands only. So all you're gonna do is push the ground away from you and go back, push the ground away from you and go back, push the ground away. Now when you're doing this, make sure you're not turning as you're pushing, you don't get the benefit and you torque the back a little bit. So again, make sure you're pushing straight away. Now you have a laser coming out of your chest, it's going right into the floor. You're like, you're like Iron Man, laser's going right into the floor. So again, we're just marching, kind of marching in place. Now we're going to kick this up a notch. Pretend like you're balancing a glass of water on your low back. We don't want to spill the water. Actually, make it higher stakes. Pretend like you're balancing a glass of wine. We don't want to spill the wine. It's even more important. And we're just going to bring the knee up with the hand. So opposite knee, opposite hand. My right knee, left hand. Right hand, left knee. Left knee, or right, left hand, right knee. So we're just marching here. We're bringing the knees with us though. So you should be feeling this a bit through the core, getting the core nice and loose, getting the shoulders warmed up. And good. Now let's kind of sink back into a little bit of a stretch here. Child pose, get the shoulders nice and open, get them overhead, get them prepared for a nice workout here. Now, notice I'm doing this workout, I'm not doing, not using any shoes, so I'm going to do this um, just with my socks on, because I want to start working a little bit more on the bottom of the feet, some of those muscles, getting those activated. Those are important for balance, those are important for helping the glutes and helping the legs fire more efficiently, so we'll work on those today as well. Okay, now from here, you're going to stay in the same position, and we're just going to do some fire hiding, so we're going to get the hips nice and warm. Now when I do these, similar to how my chest stays facing the floor, I want you to pretend like you're, you're wearing a belt and the belt buckle, maybe you are wearing a belt, and the belt buckle is pointing right toward the floor. So when you do these, you don't want to open the hips like this. You want to keep that nice and stable. So again, we're balancing that glass of water, glass of wine on our backs as we do this. And good, switch sides. And switch sides again. So again, all the movement is through the hip. Gets the hip nice and loose, nice and warmed up. Okay, nice. We'll take it to the wall now. So we're gonna stand, we're just gonna get the calves worked out a little bit. So. You'll start with that right foot back, and you'll just kind of work yourself into a little bit of ankle mobilization, a little bit of calf stretch. Now, when you do this, to get the full width of the calf nice and stretched, just change position with the foot that you're not stretching. So just kind of walk it, going from like, if we're starting at nine, we'll go to 10, 11, 12, one, to, and just kind of play with, feel what position feels tight, maybe spend some extra time in that position, work that, work that calf muscle out, get it nice and loose for the workout. And good, switch sides. So again, if I'm starting here at three, I'm up to two, one, 12, I'm bringing it over this way. 
So again, the calf that I'm stretching is the one that's behind me. Okay. Very good. Now we're going to go on to work on a couple squats here. So we're going to do a lot of squats in this workout, a decent amount of squats in this workout. So we're going to do some wall squats. So the way I want you to do that, two ways you can do that. You can either do that with the butt against the wall and kind of slide down into the squat and then back up. Recommended way to do this to warm up the squat is to turn toward the wall, hands go overhead. I'm about half a foot, three quarters of a foot off the wall, hands overhead, and I'm just going to go down and then back up. Now you might not be able to go down very far in your first one, but just try and work that as you go. Let's crank out 10 of these here. Good, nice work, nice work. Try and sink a little deeper each time into that squat. Making sure the core is tight as you go down. Okay, very nice. Okay, next, we're gonna move on to warm up more the bottom of the foot muscles. So these muscles are really important for balance and they're really important for stability. So what you'll do is you'll stand probably about a foot and a half off the wall, feet about shoulder width apart, spines nice and tall, and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna lean forward with your hands forward so the wall can catch you, as slowly, just until you feel the bottom of the feet muscles start to grip the ground as you go to keep you upright. So again, really simple movement, really effective for working the bottom of the feet. And try and keep your heels on the ground. So as I go forward, 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 my feet are starting to squeeze the ground as I go. Good. So what that looks like on the wall, I can test it a little bit further because I have the wall to support me. Good, and at the last second I grab the wall. So you really want to feel the bottom of the foot engage before you do that. So before I grab the wall, I really feel that foot muscle work, or the, the foot muscle on, on both feet work. Good, let's crank out two more of those. This one may take a little bit of practice. I definitely recommend working on it. If you're not feeling it a ton at the bottom of the feet, definitely recommend working on it because these are very important muscles to have fire. Your feet give so much sensory input to your low back on how to stabilize as you walk. So the more input you have coming through the feet, again, a ton of sensory receptors down there, the better your muscles will be able to stabilize as you walk. Really important for the muscles around the hip and the low back. Okay, moving right along. So we're gonna go into a couple glute bridges here. Now with the glute bridge, what you wanna do, hands out to the side, we're just going to bridge right up. As you bridge up, push the hands straight down into the ground. Let's crank out 10 of these. Now the workout we're going to do today, you can do it without any weights, doesn't require any weight. If you have some things around the house that you want to use, gallon of water, a backpack with some weights in it, maybe a backpack with a couple books in it, definitely try and do that to challenge yourself a little bit more. You don't necessarily have to have weights, but you can still add some extra load to some of the movements. It'd be really good for you. Okay, good. And then finally, we're going to bring it into just a little bit of a lunge 
stretch here. So just go, you go right leg forward, left leg back. And all you want to do is just kind of work into this motion, figure out, kind of play with the position of the front foot, figure out where you're feeling the most tight and just kind of work that out. Do it really, you don't have to go all the way to end range and make sure you're not extending through the back. Everything stays, ribs stay stacked over the pelvis. And then you'll switch. Again, play with the position of the front foot. You'll feel different areas of the hip being worked out as you go. And again, we're keeping that rib, rib cage stacked over the pelvis. Okay, now as you go back, just to get the hamstrings a little bit loose, kind of work this front leg into a straight leg. And good, switch sides. We'll do that one more time on this leg. So we're going back, we're working this leg into a nice straight extended knee here. Okay, so there's the warm up. Now we're gonna work into the workout. For this first movement, you're gonna need a chair, something you can sit down into because the first movement's gonna be a chair squat. So you can grab some weight, hold it in front if you'd like, or you can do it with no weight. You're gonna go down, touch the chair, and then go back up. You're not sitting into the chair and then going back up. You're just going down, touching the chair.